And here on the desktop, I'm having advanced visualizations folder, data dash participants. This is the file which I want to use, which is exactly the same thing, which you are also having. Now, if you have opened the Power BI desktop file, when I click this refresh button, this is mainly to refresh the data, right? But this is giving me an error and same error you might also be facing. Do you face this error when you are refreshing it? No, I don't think so. The path should be the same where we are giving up, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Yes, path should be the same. So currently the path is not same, right? Whatever is mm -hmm. there in the dashboard, it is my path. Okay. D drive, one drive, data science and all. That's my path and you don't have it, but you have the files. So how to connect it with the data sources, which are there with you, but maybe placed somewhere here and there. That's the one challenge which you might face whenever you are working <laughs> your dashboards or maybe your colleagues dashboard when he's away for vacations. Okay, so how to handle this? This is the transform data button. If I go to <clears throat> drop down next to it, there is an option of data source settings. And when I click on it, it shows another window. And that window will tell me the unique data sources which are being used in this dashboard. Now, if it is, let's say, 10 tables coming from these two files, it will show two. If it is having 10 tables coming from 10 different files, it will show 10. This is the unique list of data sources, which will be there in the dashboard. Now, I am having this file somewhere else. You are also having this file somewhere else. So let us reconfigure it. So I will take first this one, data dash participants. I can click on change source and then it will ask me again, where is the file? I will go to browse and here on the desktop, I'm having advanced visualizations folder, data dash participants. This is the file which I want to use, which is exactly the same thing, which you are also having. And when I click on open, Click OK. Now it has modified it based on my new location. Let's do the same thing for the other one also. If you have not done, I will give you time. OK. So watch again and then do the same thing in your file also. This one I have already changed. I am selecting this products one. Change source. Wherever you have placed that Excel, I will browse that. And this one is also changed. So currently only path has been changed. It is not yet implemented. Are you done with these kind of changes? Both the changes, location for both the files? Yes, done. Please, sorry, uh, I just uh, joined late a bit. Manish, you get the files from the WhatsApp. Yeah, I've group. got. Yeah, I've got. I've got. Yeah. If you open the Power BI file, you yeah. will have some data sources, which is yes. which are effectively same as what we discussed in the workshop. Yes. And when you refresh, you will face error, right? Yes. Because oh. they are my path. So what yes. you need to do. You, yes, need to click on, you need to click on data source settings. This one. Data source settings. Okay. This okay. Is a drop down next to the transform button. Okay. Data source settings. It will show you the unique path. Okay. And then change them. Yeah. And then change the source to the respective new location. Both the files. Okay. Perfect. Both the files. One yeah. by one. Right. 
And when you close, you will be seeing this apply changes. Whatever changes you have done, do you want to apply that? I will click on apply changes and then it will be connecting all the things in the model to that location. Okay, perfect, perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Good. I'm doing it now, yes. And after that, try to click on this refresh button <laughs> and see if the refresh is working or not working. Yeah, I think I'm done. Yeah. Good. So this was the first scene. So that now this dashboard is linkable with the data sets. Thank you.